two, one. Hi, I'm Ukulele Ben, and today with my ukulele, we're going to play one of the great songs from Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Uh, Man of Constant Sorrow. How are you today? Uh, I hope you're enjoying the, well, especially those on the Bristol Folk House Spring Term Ukulele for Beginners course. And uh, this is a song which I really like from a pretty decent film. Um, a beautiful country singer's voice coming out of George Clooney. Pretty good mix, if you ask me. Um, so, to play this song, it's uh, effectively four chords. They will learn it with three chords. Now, the link at the bottom here is to a page from, I believe it's Oz Because, yes. Uh, their particular website, which is fantastic. It has thousands of songs on there. Um, this one has four chords, but I'll explain when I show you all the chords. First things first, is your ukulele in tune? Does it sound like this? My dog has fleas. So that's first thing off. That's a tuning thing, if you see that. It's the thing that clips on and it lights up when you keep things in tune, as you can see. And it shows me, and I'll just show you quickly. Let's see if the G string's in tune. If it lights up green, it does on the right there. It means it's in tune. Anyway, so we're in tune. Now, the four chords you need, or straight speaking three, is the C chord, which is the first one everyone learns. So ring finger behind the A string at the very bottom on the third fret. There's the F chord. So middle finger on the second fret of the G string at the top. And uh, the pointy finger behind the first fret of the string, second from bottom, which is the E string. Now I'll be showing you with the G7 for the next chord. So middle finger behind the second fret of the C string, which is second from top. Uh, ring finger behind the second fret of the A string, which is right at the bottom. And pointy finger behind the first fret of the E string, which is second from bottom. Now with the link towards the sheet, as it were, um, it will also have a G in there. And I'll show you G, we won't do that today because every G or G7 is basically G7. But if you're following it precisely, as it were, pointy finger behind the second fret of the C string, which is second from top, middle finger on the string at the bottom, which is the A string, behind the second fret, and ring finger behind the third fret of the E string, which is second from bottom. It sounds like this. And uh, strum wise, just keep it simple. Now, this is what I call the country strum. The country strum is thus, where you go down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. If you're doing numbering, ready? You go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So you miss out the first up stroke. If you're not confident with that yet, just do ups and downs just downs whatever works best don't overcomplicate this one okay right what I'll do then is I'll do the first three uh, verses and we'll leave it there so you can play along to your heart's content okay stay safe let's give this a go shall we
basically a majority of the song. So the C's, the F's, and all the G7s, or all the G's. So I'm just playing the G7, but you can do the G's to the G7 from the link below. I hope that made sense. Uh, message me if it doesn't make sense, and uh, I'll do my best to support and, and show you what to do. Okay, uh, good to chat with you, good to play with you, and uh, I'll see you again. Stay safe, stay sane, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, everyone.